Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have my April monthly plan with me and I do apologize for this going up so late. Um, I didn't end up filming this until I think it was last Wednesday and obviously today is um, Monday the 26th. So <laughs> we're basically in the last few days of April. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I had hoped to film this earlier and then I just kind of didn't get around to doing it um, until last week. So my apologies for that and hopefully May month, my May monthly will go up a bit earlier than um, my previous monthlies have. But as always, I'm just using a kit from Caress Press. So I did get the deco sidebar and then just going through the kit and I did um, already fill in my bills so that I can put those in straight away when I actually get to like putting the day by day. Um, but first I started off with the sort of like uh, top you know top strips and covering the days not in the month and whatnot which this was kind of a bit of a hot mess um, I was kind of in a weird mood when I had filmed this because I had kind of a bad day on Wednesday um, so yeah I was kind of a little bit all over the place and a little bit because I was a little bit shaky because I had um, a panic attack earlier in the day so yeah I don't know it was just it was just a weird day and I was kind of in a weird mood but I kind of wanted to push through and film this anyway because I knew it was already like behind schedule if that makes sense um and also because I haven't posted a lot in the past month so um I did want to you know catch up on this but it did cause me to um yeah kind of make a few little mistakes here and there um with the sort of base and also the weather was really weird so um the lighting was really really bad like it was super gloomy so um I did have to fix the lighting in sort of post-production um so apologies apologies if it kind of like um what's the word if it gets really like glary or anything or like um blows out that's the word I was like I was trying to think of the technical term but yeah apologies if that happens because yeah I kind of had to fix the lighting in post-reduction and then here I tried to do this sidebar and I think I just put it down kind of crooked so then I was like oh better start from the top um but yeah anyways so here is me kind of fumbling through my base and then I think I did turn off my camera because I had to trim off the like excess um because these kits don't fit 100% in this planner like they fit well enough but um some of the like strips at the top there's like a little bit of excess on the sides so I do like to trim that off if I can although I was having problems with my slice tool so I think maybe I need to go and get a new one because um the one I've had I've had for a while and it doesn't cut very well so I don't know let me know if you have a slice tool and you've had yours for a while and it doesn't cut as well because maybe I will have to go and get a new one I think but yes here is me like struggling um and I do get these kits on the premium matte paper um so that also doesn't help I did try to like unstick the stickers on my hand beforehand but yeah anyways and then here is me trying to like get my camera back in focus and zoom in but um now that that is done I'm going to actually go through the day by day so here I'm just erasing um all of my bills so that I can put those down and like I said I did write them on the sort of stickers beforehand and that way I could easily kind of go through and put them down first off and also to sort of um sort out the colors although it didn't end up working out perfectly because then I uh, have since had to add in my driving lessons because I did have to pay for my next 10 lessons so I do have two yellow bill juice stickers like in close proximity to each other but it happens um but yeah I just thought I would do all my bills first so I have my apple music my phone bill and my health insurance on this page I think and also my iCloud down at the bottom um, and then I did also put in the Easter um, sticker as well. And then on the other side of the page, I have my Etsy bill because I did have to pay an Etsy bill this month. Um, and then I do also have my charity donation for the um, Life Saving Society and then my Vicky subscription, which I actually haven't been using. Um, my like I haven't been watching anything on Vicky lately, so it's kind of gone to waste, but um, there is a K-drama that's coming out at the end of the month that I'm very excited about, so I will be making use of my um, Vicky subscription for that. And I do believe there's another K-drama that I want to watch um, that's I think will be airing on Vicky that starts next month, so yeah. And then here I just put in my phone bill, and then I also put in um, Anzac Day at the bottom, which obviously I had to write that in because Caress Press is an American shop, um, but that's fine. And then I think I also added in Earth Day on the other side of the page. Um, but yeah, just because some of the holidays in the kit this month were things, well not holidays, but like things in the kit were things that I didn't necessarily use. Like um, there was a tax day sticker, I think, or like taxes due or something, which um, in Australia we don't do our taxes until I think 
July, August, that kind of thing, because like the end of the financial year is the 30th of June, and then after that point, you kind of file your taxes. I think you can file them until like October, I think. So, yeah. Anyways, um, so after putting all that in, I started with my day by day. Um, so I marked in that Astro had their comeback on the 5th of April, which was very exciting. They had their second full album, um, which I liked a few of the songs. I didn't like the entire album, but I did like a few of the songs, um, which was nice. I also marked in my driving lessons, and I again tried to do something similar to what I did in March, where I like pulled in additional stickers for like repetitive tasks like driving and whatnot, so it just didn't look as, I don't know, boring. But yeah, so I used um, the car icon, which is from the sticker party. And then what was I marking down here? Here I marked in um, buying my yoga pass because um, I did buy another 10 class pass for yoga for the other studio that we go to, which um, unfortunately now um, we we recently just went into lockdown for three days and then we are getting out of it, um, I believe tonight or sort of like early tomorrow morning, but indoor fitness um, places are still closed for the time being. So I don't know when I will be able to go to yoga next, but yeah, also, um, yeah, I filmed this on, like I said, last Thursday, no, last Wednesday, um, and then on Friday um, there was like announcement about lockdown, so um, that isn't included in this spread, and there are some things that I marked in that I ended up having to cancel, um, which you will see later on in the spread, although I didn't add like the cancel stickers here because, like I said, I filmed this on Wednesday, but um, if you see like my pictures on Instagram or that kind of thing, um, when I post the spread, you'll see what I mean, but yeah. <laughs> um, so then on to the 12th, I marked in the new moon in Aries. And I also, again, just put in driving with a car icon from the sticker party. And then on the 13th, I marked in that my um, FedEx delivery arrived, which was my US um, sort of box, which was actually supposed to arrive like the week prior, I think. But it's just kind of got delayed because of Easter and everything. So it just got kind of stuck in transit. But yeah. Um, and then what else? I marked in on the 19th that um, there was two K-pop comebacks, so Day 6 and um, New East, which I will say, I I don't know, I found Day 6's latest releases very like hit or miss, like um, their past music, like their past releases, I used to like a lot more songs than I do now, which is kind of unfortunate, but I did like one song from the album, and then New East, I have actually really been um, enjoying their releases, so um, I liked their title track and one of the B-sides, and I do need to really listen to the album again, um, but I did pretty much like the album so yeah and again just marked in driving using the car I got from the kit and then on the 20th I put um, a little payday flag I believe um, and then I also marked in receiving happy mail from mum and me handmade designs which is an Australian shop um, and I did film a plan with me using that kit um, which will go up after this plan with me so yeah um, and then what else did I mark in I think here is where I marked in, oh wait, I know what I marked in first. So on the 26th, which is today, um, there is two K-pop comebacks. So um, N Hyphen is having their sort of comeback, I guess, their first comeback, because um, they are a pretty new group. Um, but I did actually really enjoy their um, debut, even though I did end up listening to it very late, because when it actually like was released, I wasn't really into it. And then um, because I've been playing Rhythm Hive and they're, in their music is in the game um I've had to listen to their songs quite a lot and I ended up kind of like enjoying it a bit more so I did end up downloading the um album from Apple Music um so yeah and then so yeah I'm very excited for their comeback because it does sound very interesting um and then also AB6 is having their comeback which I really enjoy their music as well and then I marked in driving because I was supposed to have driving today but obviously that got that got cancelled because of lockdown um and then I also marked in the full moon which is tomorrow the um pink moon <laughs> Um, yes. So then moving on to the other side of the spread, um, I marked in that I have, that I had my doctor's appointment at the beginning of the month for my allergy injections. And then I marked in that, um, Hoshi from Seventeen had his little sort of solo kind of release, um, which was really cool. I also put in Good Friday because that sticker was also in the kit. And then um, I marked in payday on the Saturday because basically for um, one of my unemployment weeks, I had to, um, what's the word, like report early because of the Easter holiday. Um, and for whatever reason, the money came in on the Saturday instead of the Tuesday. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that was that payday. And then I also marked in um, my Pilates membership, which 
normally comes out on a Saturday, although now, again, because of lockdown, um, it did get cancelled for this week, so I'm not sure when it will be taken out next, because it all just depends on when they're able to reopen, because obviously Pilates is an indoor fitness centre, so um, again, they still have to be closed even after we're out of lockdown, because there's like, um, what's the word? I don't know, like remaining restrictions, I guess. So yeah, um, and then on the 10th, I marked in that I went to the cinema um, with my dad to see The Courier, which I actually really, really enjoyed, and that day I also finished um, reading Concrete Rose, so I also marked that down, because I do like to mark in when I start a book and when I finish a book, um, which I've been doing pretty badly with my reading. I've only read two books this year, which my goal is 12, so I don't know, we'll see how we go with that. Um, I'm hopefully going to be buying maybe another book or two on my Kindle, and then I do have a couple of physical books to read, but they're like part of series and they're like big books, so I don't know. But yeah, um, again, just marking in driving, so I used the car icon from the kit, and then the other one is from uh, Planning Choco, it was from a leftover from printable kit, and then here is where I marked in um, finishing my book. Um, and the pen that I am using is the Unibol Signo in, I believe it's a 0.5, it could be a 0.7 I think, actually I don't remember, but yes, anyways. Um, and then I marked in, here's where I marked in Earth Day, because um, like I said, this wasn't part of the kit, which I thought was kind of like unusual, um, because you know, I, I don't know, I just thought it was unusual. Um, and also, I don't know if um, Caress Press has been like, updating the the kits or not because this kit did come with um I think it was a Passover sticker which Passover started I think it was the end of March and ended the same day that Easter was I think so um yeah I don't know I noted that but like I don't know that was just something I noticed and then I also realized in the May kit that there's a Ramadan sticker which um I believe we're currently in Ramadan so um yeah and like it doesn't say like starts or ends, it just says like the name of the holiday. So that's just something that I've noticed in the kits. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't know, but I just thought I would mention that just in case anyone else has noticed that. But yeah, um, and then moving on, I marked in that I received an order from Craft Online because I ordered some cutting mats. So um, I now have fresh cutting mats. I also marked in going to the osteopath, which was much needed because <laughs> I was in so much pain. Um, but yeah, and then again, I have another doctor's appointment, I think this Thursday, um, for my next sort of round of allergy injections, because um, April was five weeks, so that explains why I have two in a month. Um, but yeah, which I think this might be the last one, depending on how much is left, because I'm supposed to be done in June, but I don't know how much is left. And I feel like this second appointment kind of counts as May's appointment, because, you know, May starts at the end of this week. But yeah, um, and then I think I just marked in... Um, Itzy's comeback as well at the end of the month and I don't know what else I was looking for oh and then here I marked in some planner sales so I marked in ultimate planner sale and also PBC sale which I did order um, during those sales which is very exciting so I ordered from um, Casey Creates and Hello Petite Paper during ultimate planner sale and then I did order from Sadie Stickers and Miss and Meow during the PBC so yeah very exciting and then here's where I used the sort of um washi strip to just mark in my Pilates membership because obviously that is a recurring payment but like I said I did film this prior to lockdown so obviously this has kind of changed now but yeah um, and I think that was the last thing that I marked in I don't think I marked in anything else so yeah here is the finished spread which does look pretty empty um, and I did later on add oh no I did add some deco in here at this point and then later on as in now I have added in a little bit more deco but yeah it does look kind of kind of empty I think it's just because there's a lot of white space but here's what I have left from the kit so I do have like these little squared off boxes and then here I had a little bit of deco because I just wanted to keep it for the empty days because um, obviously I had filmed this on Wednesday again so um, I didn't know which days would be empty and then I do have some icons left, which I will pull into my reusable sticker book. And just a few other sort of like miscellaneous stickers from the kit, which I do use these boxes on my notes pages to sort of decorate. So I will pull those in when I have finished sort of filling out my notes pages. And then I do have like a couple of labels just for any last minute things that do come up in the week, which like I said, I have added in a couple of extra things since filming this spread. So yeah, that is it for this video. Again, apologies for kind of like 
the lateness of it all and the mess and rambliness of this um, plan with me, I guess. But yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. And like I said, hopefully my May monthly won't go up so late in the month. Um, hopefully I will have that one up mid-month. But yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! Nobody love your life.